visit our YouTube channel at Max TV. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications on our uploads. For the Ijo Nation and the rest of the Niger Delta, the untimely demise of billionaire businessman Pastor Kenny B. Okuku has caused a great pain that will take a long time to heal. Consequently, friends and associates of the diseased who passed away recently while undergoing a cosmetic surgery in a Lagos hospital are calling for a proper investigation into the actual cause of his death. Correspondent Lovely Ofigo completes the story. Pastor Kennedy Okoko, a successful businessman and former governorship aspirant of the People's Democratic Party in Biosa State, passed away on Tuesday, 15th April 2020. Okoko reportedly breathed last while undergoing a poorly managed liposuction surgery at a private hospital in the Lekki area of Lagos State. That doctor can be held responsible. From the records available to us, that this man, his licenses have been withdrawn from him abroad. In short, they have also asked him not to operate again. But he ran down to Nigeria, all commas affair. We feel so pained, we feel so pained that, 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 that this young man, a very promising young man, could just die out of one's carelessness. There must be an inquest. For NMDC, there should be due diligence when specialists appear to register, especially returning specialists, that should be effort, effort should be made to reach out to the licensing bodies overseas and to be certain of their status before we allow them practice. All doctors must learn from this. Life is sacred and it takes little to lose life. So if you want to run a clinic, you run a standard clinic that has all you need in terms of skill and technical support to save life. If you find you don't have that capacity, there's no point opening that hospital. Don't have a death trap and get Nigerians believe and come there and you kill them and you make excuses. Only a few days before he passed away, the disease who was beginning to take interest in the welfare of his people had made a generous donation of food items to his native Obuna community in Yenegua local government area of Bayelsa State. It was part of his contribution to alleviate the economic hardship faced by his people as a result of the COVID-19 lockdown. Members of my community, we want to say it is a, a big shock, a big blow to the Bahrain Kingdom and in particular Obuna community. Now that the man just started you know, um, showing interest on his people, even recently, we spoke over uh, some gifts he sent to the community on this COVID-19. And he was about doing more. He was about extending the same philanthropic nature to the uh, entire kingdom. I'm short of words to express our, our present status. I'm short of words. But however... There is nothing I can say as the primary ruler than, than to encourage my people to forge ahead. Until his demise, Kennedy Okoko successfully ran a conglomerate with interest in construction and oil and gas. After bagging a first degree in economics at the University of Port Harcourt, he obtained a master's degree in political science from the same institution. Desirous of improving himself to excel in the corporate world, Okoko had enrolled in the prestigious Harvard Business School. At 42, he was an accomplished businessman with great prospects in political leadership. As he embarks on a journey of no return, Okoko will forever be remembered for his commitment to the welfare of his people. He was particularly concerned about improving maternal and infant health care in the Niger Delta. 2017 UNICEF came up with a report and Nigeria was ranked number six for under five mortality rate, which is quite on the high side. We should create programs to educate these women, to encourage these women, to tell them the reasons why they need to go to the hospital. And we should also try and have government hospitals try and subsidize some of this, these medications. And um, 
well-meaning Nigerians that can afford to do pro bono work uh, to the communities should do that. Encourage the women to come out in mass and uh, go to these hospitals to be checked. In Kennebi Okoko, the John Nation and its neighbors in the Niger Delta have lost an illustrious son who dedicated his life to the service of God and humanity. His sudden exit is indeed a great loss, particularly for his immediate and extended families. Inside the Niger Delta, 